Hey guys, in this video I'll be talking about essential amino acids. Um, so just to give you a brief definition of what an essential amino acid is, an essential amino acid is an amino acid that cannot be produced or synthesized de novo in, in an organism. So thus, um, the only way to get these amino acids are through dietary intake. So to go over the list of essential amino acids, um, the first one um, is phenylalanine. So as the name suggests, um, there's an alanine backbone that is placed right here um, with a phenyl group or a benzene ring, a benzene ring attached to it. Uh, the, next, uh, the next amino acid is valine. So valine is just your, your typical uh, amino acid backbone um, with a branched chain side chain. Um, so this uh, valine is actually one of the branched chain amino acids and its branch chain side chain is in the form of a V, so it's kind of an easy way to remember that. Um, the next one is tryptophan. Uh, tryptophan, again, has that classical um, uh, amino acid backbone, um, and it has an indole ring attached to it, so it has a, a five-membered uh, ring fused with a benzene ring. So um, tryptophan has uh, a side chain that consists of a five-member ring attached to a benzene ring. The, the next amino acid is threonine. So threonine, um, its side chain is, is similar to valine, except um, that one part of the, the other side of the V um, is actually a hydroxyl group. The next um, amino acid uh, is isoleucine. So isoleucine, again, is... Uh, um, you look here, we've got the, our, our classical um, amino acid structure with um, the side chain um, that is, is similar to valine, but you've got an extra, an extra methyl group attached to it. Um, and uh, isoleucine is also, um, is also one of the branch chain amino acids. Um, the next uh, amino acid is methionine. So methionine um, is simply... Um, is, is simply uh, just think about it as a, a there's an alanine it's an alanine um, with another with another carbon and then a, a, a sulfhydryl group attached to it so this is uh, methionine is one of two amino acids that contain a sulfur group um, which is which is um, which is essential um, for um, for uh, organismal uh, life um, the next amino acid is uh, histidine so histidine um, Histidine is actually one of the basic amino acids, and it's it's a uh, it's attached to um, it's attached to a five-membered ring that contains two nitrogen. Uh, the next um, essential amino acid, um, and is and um, this amino acid actually is not always essential, but um, it's it sometimes is lumped in with uh, the list of essential amino acids. It's arginine. So arginine. Um, is, a, is another um, basic amino acid, um, and it's it has a, a a longer side chain that consists of um, you've got three carbon, uh, and you've also got um, a, kind of a triad of of nitrogen um, nitrogen atoms attached to that. The next amino acid is leucine. Um, leucine is uh, again another um, one of another one of the three branch chain amino acids, and it has it's uh, it is similar to isoleucine, um, except for the fact that um, or it, and it is also it's also uh, related to valine, um, except that it has an extra kind of an extra group um, or an extra carbon um, uh, attached to it, and the last. Um, uh, essential amino acid is lysine. Now, lysine is also a um, is also one of the um, one of the uh, basic amino acids. Um, it's got a, a long uh, kind of linear side chain attached, um, and um, it, it, as I said, it's one of the three basic amino acids, um, which include histidine and arginine as well. Um, so, um, just to kind of go over again um, um, some kind of details about these. 
um, and, and, and a way to remember um, essential amino acids is uh, this kind of mnemonic device, um, Private Tim Hall. So I've kind of got uh, underlined the P, Private Tim Hall, H-A-L-L. -L. Now, as I mentioned before, I've got an asterisk here um, on arginine. Now, arginine is not always essential amino acid. Uh, arginine is actually only essential, um, or by definition, it's only essential during um, childhood um, in, in growing children, um, but um, uh, but it's not actually essential in, in, in a full grown adult. So it sometimes it's it's lumped in with the the essential amino acids, but uh, in other cases it's not. So um, this is a good way to remember. But um, if you if you have to, you can kind of just cross out that H or that A. Sorry. So we just have private Tim Hall, but just make sure you kind of remove that A for arginine. But in some cases, it is actually essential. And a couple of other um, essential amino acids that are only essential in cer or certain circumstances are um, cysteine. Um, and now cysteine is only essential um, when, um, when you don't get an adequate amount of methionine in your diet because um, cysteine is actually... Um, formed um, from methionine um, because it, uh, methionine actually donates its sulfhydro group to cysteine. So if you don't have enough methionine, um, uh, cysteine will actually become essential at that point. And same with tyrosine. Now um, tyrosine um, will become essential if you don't get an adequate amount of phenylalanine in your diet because um, really tyrosine is just phenylalanine with a hydroxyl group attached to it. And um, for vegetarians out there, um, it's kind of interesting to note that um, there's actually four amino acids that are, that are described to be kind of limited or deficient in plant material. And, that, um, and those, uh, those amino acids are uh, phenylalanine. So I'm just going to put a little leaf here. Uh, phenylalanine is one. A methionine is one of those um, amino acids that are deficient in plant material. Threonine. And lysine. So um, those four amino acids are typically described to be deficient in plant material. So that's interesting information for vegetarians out there, vegetarians and vegans. And um, so um, again, there's, this is kind of the easy way to remember it. Um, remember your list of essential amino acids, but there's also, um, you can also remember your essential amino acids by um, remembering that um, all the branched chain amino acids are essential. So branched chain amino acids are again, valine, isoleucine, and leucine. Um, so all three of the branching amino acids are essential. Um, the, the basic amino acids, such as histidine, arginine, and lysine, again, arginine is not always essential, but in some cases it is. Um, the basic amino acids, um, H, A, L, are essential as well. Um, and um, uh, methionine is essential. So methionine is, uh, remember, that's the kind of the, that's the, the amino acid that kind of provides um, the organism with sul uh, sulfur. And so this one is actually um, also uh, essential. Um, and we've also got um, phenylalanine. This is where you get your kind of your benzene, your benzene ring. Um, and um, threonine, this is kind of one of those uh, hydroxyl group containing uh, amino acids. And, and tryptophan, which also has a benzene ring. Um, but also has a, a five-member ring attached to it. So um, there's, that's kind of a, a quick way to try to remember, but this is probably the best way to remember um, your essential amino acids. Anyways, guys, I hope that helped. Uh, that was uh, essential amino acids.